What is that? What are they doing? Applause. Or you mean it. The film is based on that book by A.M. Shine. What drew you to bring it to screen? And was there a part of the book that you were most excited to bring to life? The book, when I read it, was just incredibly compelling and such a, a kind of well-curated story. It really gripped me and felt like a movie when I was reading it. So I was really intrigued by that, that he had already built in all these things that just seemed to be begging to have kind of surround sound and visuals and colors. Um, and I thought that was very, very powerful. What did he say? Like yourself, Mina, is a visual artist. Yes. Did any of your drawings or artwork come into play when you were in pre-production or even in what we see on screen? Definitely, I think I use kind of fine art, drawing and painting as sort of um, something to unlock me a bit. Uh, it's not something I think I'm great at, but I really enjoy it for the process of sort of like visualization. So I did some sort of like watercolors of the creatures mm. as we were shooting um, and just sort of played around with some imagery that I didn't really share with anyone, but just, <laughs> just in order to help myself sort of visualize what this world might feel like. You've never seen one. No one sees one and survives. How did writing, producing, and directing Servant help lead to this? I think it was such a wonderful opportunity for me to get to kind of exercise different techniques and learn the things that I'd kind of theorized about in a very literal sense. So just kind of the pragmatic stuff that I was very afraid of doing, like how do you communicate emotions to actors and how do you accomplish a shot that you want to make all those things I think got to be explored on that show, as well as discovery of like my own tone and sort of the things that I was most interested in playing with. So it was really a wonderful kind of like protected environment in which to curate my artistic voice. Out of the six episodes you directed, is there one that you particularly hold dear? Mm. I think uh, for me, the sort of finales that I did were really, really lovely experiences for me. I think getting to sort of close the season felt quite immense. And they were always like kind of deeply emotional as well as, as we were sort of parting from each other for a moment and then coming back. So I really hold those experiences dear to my heart. It's everything that you've ever wanted. You've said in interviews that you grew up on set watching your dad yes. direct. What sticks out to you as like a memorable time getting to see him direct and be in that environment? As long as I could remember, I think I've been on sets. He did a really wonderful job at keeping our family together and uh, really wanted us to be sort of integrated into his process. So it was very lovely. I always kind of talk about how like Lady in the Water for me was something I remember very vividly and the, the magic of that shoot. And then even watching the movie now, I feel it's just such a magical, beautiful movie. So it's just wild to think that we were kind of like running around those sets and, and hanging and yeah, it's <laughs> quite, quite wonderful. <laughs>